Welcome back to Voices of Government IT Achieving Enterprise-Wide Cloud Adoption, sponsored by Unisys here on Federal News Radio, part of the Federal News Network. My guests today are Lakshmi Ashok, CTO for Homeland and Critical Infrastructure at Unisys Federal. David Levy is the Vice President for U.S. Government at Amazon Web Services. And Peter O'Donohue, Vice President of Application Services at Unisys Federal. I'm your moderator, Tom Temin. And let's talk about some of the post-challenge issues, and that is how industry can help federal agencies get into this cloud adoption. And Dave, why don't we start with you and some of the services AWS has that can help people get there. Sure, sure. Well, we get, um, you know, I think one of the things about AWS that is unique uh, is that we're very focused on what customers want. It's, it's one of our leadership principles. And so we really, the services we provide are designed to help the customer accelerate on their journey. So we have things like a migration acceleration program, which we call MAP, uh, and that really sets the stage for how a customer might make a decision to move to cloud, what to move, how to move it, what uh, services to use. We have lots of onboarding tools, things like landing zones to help customers get started. And then, of course, we, you know, we've got a, a broad ar array of, of of training and support that allow agencies to uh, start their journey, to be in the middle of their journey, and to finish their journey to cloud. I, I do also, you know, we have great partners like Unisys. Um, I think what's what we're excited about about Unisys is they have a long history in the federal government of uh, being really close to mission partners and supporting government. Uh, they're a trusted advisor, and they're in a role as a strategic systems integrator that can help the government make this transition and make the critical decisions they need to make, uh, whether that's moving into DevOps or a digital transformation. So we're really excited about our partnership with Unisys, and uh, we believe they're going to be a great partner to help the government and, and AWS. And do you get questions about geographical distribution of where loads might be running and physical locations? Sure, all the time. Um, you know, we have a, a really large global network mm -hmm. of availability zones and, and questions like latency and Physics come up all the time. Uh, we believe we've got a, a really strong footprint to satisfy that, regardless of the classification level workload that an, an agency might be running. Sure, because people do, you know, government side people do worry about the intra cloud within a given vendor issues sure. sometimes, even though they, they can't see them necessarily. Sure, sure, yeah. absolutely. And, and, you know, we have uh, our GovCloud region, which many folks are familiar with. We have a GovCloud in the west and a GovCloud in the east uh, for people that want the kind of latency or con continuity of operations that they need or or even if they just want to run uh, a backup in, in one region, they can do that as well too. Okay, interesting, all right. And uh, Peter, a lot of federal agencies seek almost an abstraction layer between themselves and cloud providers, even especially if they may have more than one cloud provider. Tell us about some of the services that you offer that can help people speed well, up the process? Well, that's a great question, Tom. Um, so we, we have uh, um, our, go to, our go to market, our capability that um, for, for cloud adoption, we refer to it as Cloud Forte. And um, we actually have kind of implementations of it that really suit the specific need of a, of a client. Um, we, can, we can use cloud as kind of a commodity um, if necessary, but we strongly recommend um, a multi-cloud approach where we can actually n not dumb down each of the cloud providers and really leverage like the, the, the goodness that actually each of the cloud providers uh, offers, particularly our friends at AWS. Um, within our Cloud Forte offering, actually one of the things we've really strongly um, acknowledged is, is the recognition that, that um, there are a lot of programmatic things and org change things that need to have happen before you move to the cloud. So we, we focus, um, on managing the cloud and automation to manage the cloud and govern the cloud. But actually before that, you know, we have um, really invested heavily in, in advisory services. So what are the things, you asked the question earlier about the risk management frame and framework in FISMA and actually even FedRAMP and the FedRAMP packages. So working with our clients to help them rethink and retool their risk management framework approach so that, so that you can um, inherit a set of controls more effectively and, and kind of significantly lessen the effort uh, that it takes to actually get a workload into the cloud and get it an ATO for that workload in the cloud is, is a really important part. The org change piece is extremely important. So we actually, we, we strongly adhere to this notion of a cloud center of enablement. And to give you an example, on some of our major programs um, for in Lakshmi's area actually, 
I was on a call this morning and we were talking about there's a tipping point where after you've trained and certified, you've provided mm -hmm. the templates and the accelerators and you provided the leadership, people stop thinking in terms of old processes and old ways of thinking and actually this is how I run a data center and you think far more cloud natively. Uh, we feel like the org change the training and actually making sure people have access to the right talent and tools, that's actually really important. And you, you can actually see a pivot point, a tipping point happen on programs where people kind of make that mm -hmm. transition and now they become cloud native thinkers. And actually I can tell you that the implications for our agency customers and clients and for also the CISOs within those organizations is, is, is amazing to watch that transition happen. And once that transition has happened, Lakshmi, what are some of the operational characteristics that they need to yeah. understand? So some of the things Cloud4 brings from an operational perspective is integration into your service desk mm -hmm. so that you can have automated tickets right from the end user up to the cloud provider. We also um, provide ITSM processes, but more importantly, what we do provide is uh, a view into your financials. Right, uh, so the government uses uh, Clint's to procure cloud right. today, um, but that's not the way the CSPs bill. So what we do is provide conversion between uh, the records, the mm -hmm. consumption records, into and we map them into Clint's so that the procurement people at the government uh, easily understand what they've consumed from a cloud perspective. Um, the In second many ways, it's almost like the old cell phone bills where there were yes. long lists of unintelligible information. Exactly. But somehow you had to understand mm -hmm. it, especially in the federal yeah. context. And that gets more and more um, interesting and challenging as you start using things like DevSecOps, right? Because then mm -hmm. you're treating infrastructure as code, there's not a human in the middle. Suddenly you start using infrastructure, you surge up and then you shrink down. But how do you keep track of this? So we use the records that the providers um, send us. The other thing we also do is um, manage across the enterprise. So we provide tools that enable management, um, not just from at the application layer or at the infrastructure layer, but end-to-end -end management. So we can in fact point out what the root causes uh, look like or what are the root causes. So in effect, I guess the, uh, the CIOs and the other operators in the tech side on the agency side really get the thing that they most fear losing and that is visibility and transparency, transparency. into what's happening in their clouds that they're paying for. Yes, and the third thing I would stress uh, on here is securing everything. So it's not just throwing security at the end, but started right at the beginning from a development life cycle through uh, testing and through production so that the entire perimeter from the application layer to the infrastructure is secured. Okay, end to end, good place to end our discussion, which I want to thank you all for having a very lively one. Uh, today's guests were Lakshmi Ashok, CTO for Homeland and Critical Infrastructure at Unisys Federal. David Levy is the Vice President for U.S. Government at Amazon Web Services. And Peter O'Donohue, Vice President of Application Services at Unisys Federal. I'm your moderator, Tom Temin. You've been listening to Federal News Radio, part of the Federal News Network. For more on this discussion, visit federalnewsnetwork.com and search Unisys 